tense confrontation at a community pool in North Carolina. A man who was white accused of racially profiling a mother who's black. Here's ABC's Alex Perez. I'm just here with my baby, swimming. The cell phone video, now gone viral, shows Adam Bloom questioning whether Jasmine Edwards and her son are neighborhood residents and entitled to use the private community pool. Where does it say that I have to show an ID to use my pool, my own pool? IDs are not required to enter the pool, but Bloom, who is the Housing Association's pool chairman, insists and calls police. We have a resident or a non-resident that's at the pool that refuses to leave. Edwards Edwards is a resident and informs the officers that she has a key card to access the pool. We're going to shut this and, and prove to this gentleman that this turns green real quick. Turns green and it unlocks. There you go, sir. All right. Perfect. The incident, just the latest in a string of disturbing episodes of white people calling the cops on innocent black people for everyday activities. A kid mowing the lawn, barbecuing in the park. Adam Bloom has since resigned from the poll committee and his employer announced on Twitter he's been let go. In a statement through his attorney, Bloom says he first approached Edwards at the request of another resident. He says his actions were not racially motivated and is deeply regretful if they appeared to be. Tom? Alex Perez for us tonight. Alex, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.